Today we will be making this one. Emmeline was a little girl from England who loved to read the stories about brave heroes who fight for others. She dreamed about who she might become. But at that time, Emmeline was growing up. Up girls who don't have many choices. One night, she heard her father say that it that it was too bad she wasn't a boy. And she was uncorded to go to university or get a job and couldn't vote like her brothers. Emmeline did not understand why. Um, she began to read about women's rights. Um, began her mother to her mother to bring her to a meeting so she could learn more. There, there she heard that women's women in England like in many other countries were treated only for unfairly in order to to change things they needed to write to vote. Where's my phone, baby? It's right there. You're not using? I'm using, but I'm recording. Huh? I'm recording. Soon as soon as Amalin finished school, she began working for women's rights. She fell in love with a law lawyer named Richard. They got married and worked side by side to help women win the right to vote. But for years, nothing shall change. Shall that? When Richard died, Emily had to work hard to support her family, but she didn't stop her. But Learn. For women's right, soon, soon her daughters joined. <coughs> soon her daughters joined in and convinced her to stop following the rules and and take a piece um, they spoke on they spoke out on street corners and marched in cities
they spoke out they spoke out on trees, corners and marches in cities they interrupted meetings and trained training on shy in the red I don't know what's the say blah blah okay and then them cells to readings oh my god I'm so bad of this when they the government tried to stop them they thought Harder, some suffragettes were around. Now to the next page. Oh, Emmeline traveled to the U U USA to speak. Um, she voted to keep fighting until a woman were free to do the same things as men. When her broke out cross or or up, lots of men went went off. Fight suffragettes to took took jobs. They only men men had done before. They were stronger than anyone had believed. After after the war, Emmeline's dream come true. Women finally started to get the right to vote. By fighting for others, she become one to one know and thought a little girl could be a hero. Okay, it's our next chapter now. I'll read read this this is the other episode we do one now two once there was a thoughtful girl called Wilma she was a proud kitizen of the Char Cherokee nation and lived in in Oklahoma USA I mean USA I was reading USA this look did I put it upside down okay I'll put it outside down but still like that. Her people had lived in America for for thoughts a year before Europe European settlers arrived and took their land. Room, room, room must and kisters were forced to leave their homes and walk to a new land set in outside for them to um journey was so hard that it's it is still calling that trial of tears when 
things got better, but life was still thought for Wilma, Wilma's family. On day, the government cursed to leave their land and move to San Francisco, the big city. Wilma wasn't leaving, not just her friends behind, but what her rules to it was her own trail of tears. Wilma and her siblings were were the only not he, were the only Native Americans at her new school study study many study students made fun of their last name after night after height High school, after high school, Wilma dreamed of making a difference in her community. I have to. She. She processes about the government's mysterious payment of many Americas. It says you are, are on land. Yuck. You are on land. <laughs> Why is always like that? She also decided to start talking night class at anniversaries and then a sad a suddenly all had learning to help young Nani Hamersi study in her community back in Oklahoma Wilma married Charlie a fellow Charlie she got a job with the Charlie Nation and worked hard to improve the lives of her people. Later, she became the best Shabbos me and it first never ever family either she learned she learned the Cherokee nation for 10 years and the whole and the whole Cherokee nation will forever remember Wilma, the girl who knew that the people most respect are those who help others.
already done. Bye. Bye.